Hello and welcome to the channel. Now, just look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. It's called The Vessel and it's in New York City. Just take a minute and just absolutely love it. We'll be talking about this and talking about three things that Accra can learn from New York City. Yes, stay till the end of this video because we'll be sharing these very three important things that Accra, Ghana, can learn. We've been to Abidjan, we've been to Cape Town, but let's go to the big city itself, New York City. What can we learn? Well, we'll be seeing more of the vessel, an absolutely beautiful structure, 16 good floors, cost about $200 million to do this. Why did they do it? What does it say about New York City? Well, we're going to dive straight into the video and uh, it is absolutely magnificent. This is what you call the Hudson Yard Enclave. We'll be telling you more about it. But Accra, Ghana, yes, we have traveled across. We keep going. Our city is not the, the perfect in the city. It has some, you know, positives. It is growing. We are seeing buildings pop up, but there are issues. There are definitely are issues. We need to be open and honest about it. But we are, you know, we have some positives. We are a hospitable people. People love coming to Ghana. Yes, it is one of the safest around. It is a good place, but it is expensive to live in. It's not the neatest, and uh, there's a lot that can be done to improve the fortunes of the citizens. So, what can we learn from New York City? Well, let's go straight there. And as you can see, the scenery has changed. Look at the height of these buildings. NYC, they call it. New York City. Well, I haven't been there, so my friend who's there, my brother actually who's there, shared this video video with me and shared three, you know, three things that he feels that Accra Ghana can learn. Now, this place is what you call Pier 15, downtown New York City, around the seaport, you know, where there are different piers. Now, this the water body you're seeing is what they call uh, the East River, and uh, now you can see you can get boat rides and all of that. And this particular area overlooks the almighty Brooklyn Bridge, which is in the background. Yes, Brooklyn Bridge. Now we are at the Hudson Yard Enclave, you know, with a graceful, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely magnificent vessel. Just look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that. Now, some people say the vessel is a reflection of the maturity, the open-mindedness of the architectural ecosystem in New York City. Sixteen floors, two hundred million dollars, opened in twenty nineteen, but closed in twenty twenty one. Yes. So outside of that, still within the Hudson Yard, you have the Hudson train station. And we're going to go straight into that very, very soon. So my brother, you know, my brother B, you know, found some time, you know, to take us through this beautiful place. Just look at the, the art in there, you know, showing us glimpses of space, glimpses of the Milky Way, the solar system, but it's the infrastructure, the infrastructure, the technology that has been deployed to make sure that people are able to travel from place to place. Everything is just top notch. It definitely is not perfect. But just look at this. And the place is buried deep down. Deep down, as you can see, more stairs for people to go further down. And then the trains are there waiting for you. Old trains, as they look, but well, well maintained. Like I said, stick and stay till the end of the video and you will learn three things that New York City can teach a crowd Ghana. Now, this place is called Downtown White Plains. Downtown White Plains, still in New York. Wow. The Tesla shop for you. You want to buy a Tesla? Yeah, hey, be my guest. Still downtown White Plains. The Jaguar shop. Man, look at the height of these buildings.
Now this particular infrastructure is a major terminal where people catch different buses you know, going to different places, you know, different floors for parking. I believe we can learn from this. We have uh, one or two of these, you know, in Accra, Ghana here. But let's get straight into it. What three things can New York City teach Accra and Ghana? Well, they say New York City isn't the largest or most beautiful city in the world, nor is it the most technologically advanced. You know, it has its flaws, you know, including expensive living costs and sometimes impatient residents. Now, despite these challenges, it remains a global hub that draws millions of visitors and residents alike. Now, New York City's shortcomings are far outweighed by its immense offerings in arts, culture, history, and economic opportunities. Now, lesson one, urban planning and implementation. Accra can have a system, you know, simple and built to complex detail of, you know, spatial planning that is established by, you know, a team of professionals and followed to the latter. Now, this is something that Ghana, in general, can take a cue from. Now, New York City is also a place where everything comes together, you know, high paying jobs, top tier education, world class museums and the likes, you know, you've heard of Broadway, you know, in the corporate headquarters of very major, major companies. It has what they call a thriving economy, home to nearly how many, about 280,000 small businesses and some of the best restaurants in the world, hospitals, schools, you know, like the NYU, Columbia and the likes. Also, a very great place you know for people to make a living so the number two thing that yes Accra Ghana can learn uh, from New York City is maintenance and improving culture well according to my friend the built environment there is always cared for you know in that you know consistently all infrastructure you know are either routinely maintained and or upgraded you just see it everywhere and Accra and Ghana can very much do same by you know encouraging research in areas of engineering and ac architecture you know as well as related disciplines to improve our, our infrastructure because the maintenance culture here uh, 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 not good not good now what sets New York City apart is some of some will say it's 24-hour nature the safety for example you know in New York City compared to other US cities is, is quite high you know, and it, it is an incredible, you know, multicultural, you know, city. A melting pot where over uh, 800 languages are spoken. 800 languages. Absolutely, absolutely fascinating. So despite its challenges, the city's vibrancy and opportunities, you know, make it uh, one of the best places to live and visit, honestly. So the third thing, the third thing uh, that Accra, Ghana can learn from New York City is the public transportation system, you know. Developing and upgrading the transportation infrastructure could prove to be the key, you know, in, in our developmental agenda you know, for Ghana and you know, uh, Accra as well. For people to be able to move around, trade and all of that. You know, we can develop, you know, interconnected rail, bus, ferry systems, implement mobile payment systems and the likes to make sure that people are able to move from one place to the other freely and affordably as well. So those are three things you learned. If you want to see more videos where we are comparing Accra to other cities, check out our other videos. Bye bye.